these few slides, I'm going to uh, show what the second polar moment is, just from a conceptual point of view. And we'll begin by looking at the second moment of area. So if I had a rectangular piece, um, maybe if you could visualize a ruler. So you hold the ruler in your hand and you, 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 know, you try to uh, flex it. So when you flex it, the ruler will, will move up like that. Okay. Depending on the material in which the ruler is made, you know, it might flex a small bit or it might flex a, a, a larger bit. So it, it will depend upon the, the material uh, which is used to make the ruler. However, if I take the ruler and turn it on its side and then try to flex, uh, flex it, I wouldn't be able to do it, irrespective of the material. Uh, it would be very difficult uh, to, to flex that ruler up into this position. And the reason is, uh, is the second moment of area. So if I, when the shaft or when the ruler is in, in this uh, setup, the second moment of area looks like that. And when it's in, in this position, it, it looks something like that. So let's look at these a little bit closer. So these are our axes. So when I'm when I'm flexing the ruler about the y axis, this is my y value. And we saw there that it would flex. But when I'm flexing about this axis, we can conceive that it won't flex. And we can see here the y is much bigger than this this y here. And the second moment of area about the xx axis is the integral of y squared dA. So you can see if I square this number, it's going to be a lot larger than this uh, y here. So that's why this is, a, is stiffer and it's much uh, more difficult to, to flex. I could also try and flex the, the ruler around the, the y axis here in red. When I do that, then the value is x, and the stiffness of the shaft, or the second moment of the shaft about the y-axis, is x squared dA. So we can see that this would be more, this x here is a lot less than this x here. So this, um, in this scenario, this one would be a lot more difficult to flex. So that's uh, the second moment there of, of, of area, and, and um, it's an expression of how uh, rigid the, in this case, the ruler is, or whatever the, the object is. There are tables that you can look up. So you can look up, say, for a, a rectangular object, uh, an object with a rectangular cross-section, I should say. Uh, you can look up what the second moment of, of area is. And uh, similarly for uh, for a circular object, you can, you can look that up. And this interests us here, because we're um, we're going to be talking about uh, torsion. So this video is just one in in a, in a few about torsion. So we're interested in this value here. So if I have a shaft, it has a circular cross section. Its uh, moment of inertia about the x-axis is. Uh, Sorry, not its moment of inertia. Its second moment of area around the x-axis is pi d to 4 over 64. And because it's circular and it's symmetrical, then the uh, second moment of area about the y-axis will be exactly the same. So the, the resistance to, to, to bending, for example, put a, apply a bend here around the x-axis or here around the y-axis, uh, it, it should be the same, because they're the same uh, um, second moment of area. Okay. Um, now, we're thinking about torsion. So in torsion, we're not applying uh, a load along the x-axis or along the, the y-axis. You know, we're, we're, we're applying the load around the 
center of the of the shaft. So if we're, if we're applying a torque, it's going to cause the shaft to twist. So what is that resistance to that twisting moment? Well, we saw that when we were looking at the resistance um, to, to, to the bending, it was the x squared dA. So x squared dA or y squared dA. So that's about the x-axis and the y-axis. But if we're going to talk about polar moment, it's around the center of the, of the shaft. So it's this value r. So instead of using x or y, x or, or y, we're going to use uh, the value r. So what is the resistance uh, caused by the distance from the center of, of the shaft? So we call this the second polar moment. So this is the second moment of area, Ixx and Iyy. This J is the second polar moment, and it's it's very similar to, to the second uh, moment of area, it's just that instead of using the height Y or the, the distance X, we're using the radius R. But for a circular shaft, they're sort of related. Because from Pythagoras' theorem, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So my second polar moment could be rewritten as x squared plus y squared instead of r squared. And when we multiply that out, that's just x squared dA plus y squared dA. And we have x squared dA over here. And we have y squared dA here. And from the tables, uh, we know that that's pi d to the power of 4 over 64, and this is also pi d to the power of 64. So if I have 1 64th of something and I add another 64th, then again 1 32nd of something. So this would be the second polar moment of a solid shaft. And it's, it's really just the, the resistance of the shaft to, to torsional loads.